Hello friends, in this video we will understand the difference among centroid, orthocenter, circumcenter and incenter of a triangle and learn how to calculate the in radius and circum radius of a triangle. Ok, let us start with incenter first. So, what is incenter of a triangle? Incenter is a point where angle bisectors meet. This is triangle ABC and these are our angles A, B and C. And this line is the angle bisector of angle B. It means this angle is equal to this angle. This line angle bisector divides angle B into two equal parts. Similarly, we will draw another angle bisector from vertex A and from vertex C. And point where these all angle bisectors meet, this is called the incenter of a triangle. And another important point taking this as center and this as radius this radius is called in radius ok taking this as center and this as radius if we draw a circle that circle will be inscribed in this triangle and is called in circle now next is centroid centroid what is the centroid of a triangle centroid of the triangle is a point where medians of the triangle meet this is our triangle ABC and suppose this is the midpoint of side BCD. The line joining the vertex to this midpoint of the opposite side is called the median. In the same way, we will draw another median from vertex B. This is the midpoint. It divides AC into two equal parts. Similarly, another median is this one. Okay, And the point of intersection of all these medians, this is called the centroid. Centroid of the triangle is generally denoted by G. In center is denoted by I and this is called the in radius. Another important property of centroid is that the centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1. That means if this point is G, so AG is 2 times GD or we can say that if the median AD is of 6 centimeters, then AG will be 4 cm and GD will be 2 cm. Now come to the another center. This is the circumcenter. What is circumcenter? Circumcenter of a triangle is the point where perpendicular bisectors meet. This is our triangle ABC. If we draw a perpendicular bisector on BC, Perpendicular bisector means it divides BC into two equal parts and the line is perpendicular to BC. Okay, This is perpendicular bisector, another perpendicular bisector, this one on AC and the third one on AB. The point where these perpendicular bisectors meet is called the circumcenter. Circumcenter is denoted by C and if we join these two, this is C. So, this AC, taking AC as radius, if we draw a circle, it will circumscribe the triangle. Okay. And this radius is called circum radius. Now, the third one, fourth one, this is orthocenter. What is the orthocenter? Orthocenter of a triangle is the point where altitudes of a triangle meet. This is our triangle ABC. And this is altitude. Altitude means any perpendicular line from vertex A on the opposite side. From vertex B, perpendicular line is this. From vertex C, the perpendicular line, this. The point where all these altitude meet, this is called the orthocenter. Okay. Now, we will discuss some important properties of all these four centers for different triangles. Let us start with scalene triangle. For scalene triangle friends, all these points are different. Orthocenter is different, incenter is different, circumcenter is different. The second is the case of equilateral triangle, most important case. For equilateral triangle, all these points are same. It means orthocenter, incenter, centroid, circumcenter, all are same. Okay. So, let us, uh, for uh, this case, equilateral triangle, let us try to find in radius. This 
r there is a formula for in radius it is equal to delta upon s delta here is the angle of the triangle and s is the semi perimeter of the triangle for equilateral triangle this area, uh, area of the triangle is root 3 upon 4 a square where a is the side of the equilateral triangle semi perimeter is the sum of all sides divided by 2 in this case all sides are equal so 3a divided by 2 and this comes to be root 3 upon 4a square into 2 upon 3a so this and this will go this a and this square will go and we are left with root 3 upon 6a and the formula for this uh, circum radius is abc upon 4 delta where abc are the sides of the triangle and delta is the area of triangle for this equilateral triangle all the sides are equal so this is a cube divided by 4 into root 3 upon 4 a square this and this will go this a square will go with this so we are left with a upon root 3 if you can remember this formula it's well and good otherwise you can derive it in the triangle for uh, let us derive it here okay this is a triangle abc as we know for uh, equilateral triangle median centroid circum center and ortho center all are same suppose this is the midpoint of this side this is median this point is centroid it divides it into ratio 2 is to 1 the same is the point of in center and circum center okay if uh, for equilateral triangle this is perpendicular also so we can say that this is a right angle triangle we'll use the pythagoras theorem here so let the side is a so bd will be a upon 2 this point is g centroid okay so in triangle abd using pythagoras theorem ad square is equal to ab square minus bd square ab here is a so a square and bd here is a by 2 whole square so simplifying this we will get 3 upon 4 a square okay and ad will be root 3 root 3 upon 2 a so let us try to calculate ag here ag is what i told you this is the capital r circum radius okay taking this as center and this as radius if you try to draw a circle that circle will circumscribe the triangle abc similarly this gd is the in radius taking this at center and this at radius if you try to draw a circle that will inscribe the triangle so ag is equal to r this is 2/3 of ad and what is ad 2 by 3 ad is root 3 upon 2 a so this and this will go and it comes to be a upon root 3 the same that we got earlier also here okay now uh, let us try to find out this radius gd this is in radius and this is 1/3 of ad or it is what 1 upon 3 of ad ad here is root 3 upon 2 a so this will be root 3 upon 6a okay we can use these two formulas to solve our questions related to this topic another important case is the case of right angle triangle let us write here right triangle this is third property what happens in the right triangle let me draw a right triangle first this is a right triangle a b c it is right angled at angle b in case of right triangle circum center always remember circum center is the midpoint of hypotenuse okay and where is the ortho center ortho center we have learnt what is it where perpendicular meet altitudes meet one altitude of the triangle is this one from vertex a 
from vertex C is this one and from vertex B is this one. So this point is called the this is called the circum uh, sorry ortho center. And in case of right triangle, this formula of R is equal to hypotenuse. We have learnt no? it is the midpoint of the hypotenuse. This is midpoint of hy hypotenuse is circum center. So AC upon two, okay? Capital R circum center. Similarly, small R is equal to perpendicular plus base minus hypotenuse upon two. This formula, these two formulas are most important from examination point of view. Using these formulas, we will solve some problems. So friends, that's all for this concept. In the next video, we will do some important problems related to all these centers, in center, centroid, center, orthocenter, etc. If you want me to include your problems in my video, you can write in the comment box. Thank you.